Hello friends. I hope that you had tried to perform the activities on triangles and quadrilaterals using these plastic strips from the kit box. We also have a small plastic board called geo board. We will use this geo board to represent various planar shapes and also to find the area of various regular and irregular figures. This can be done using the rubber bands and dowels present in the small plastic box. Suppose I want to make a five-sided shape on the geo board. For this, I fix the five pins at different positions on the geo board. These pins will represent the different vertices of the figure. Now stretch the rubber band over the pins. Observe the figure carefully. You get a five sided figure. This shape can be changed by changing the position of the pins. Now let us see how we'll estimate the area of this five sided shape by counting the number of squares. Take the area enclosed by each full square to be one square unit. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So the area enclosed by the full squares is 11 square units. Now take the area enclosed by more than half squares to be 1 square units. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And since the area of each such square is taken to be 1 square unit, the area enclosed by them is 6 square units. Now we will take the area enclosed by each half square to be half square units. There are 1, 2. There are just 2 such half squares. So the area enclosed by such half squares will be 1 square unit. We neglect the area of the squares which are less than half inside the shape. 1, 2, 3. There are 3 such squares. So we neglect the area of these 3 squares. To find the total area, you just have to find the total area enclosed by the full squares, half squares and more than half squares to get a total of 18 square units. Thus, the area of this 5 sided shape comes out to be 18 square units. You can also try to find the area of any shape of your choice by using these dowels and geo board. Now do you want to make a rectangle on this geo board and find its approximate area by the counting of square method? You can easily do it by fixing 4 pins on the geo board. I stretch my rubber band over the pins to get the shape of a rectangle. Observe carefully that you get a rectangle. Rectangle encloses only full squares. Now let us count the number of full squares it encloses. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 full squares. So according to this, the area of the rectangle should be 15 square units. Now let us see if there is any relation between the number of full squares and the dimensions of the rectangle. But what are the dimensions of the rectangle? Let us see what is the length of this rectangle. The length of the rectangle is 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five. The length is five units. Let us see what is the breadth of the rectangle. One, two, three. So the breadth of the rectangle is three units. And you all know that the area of a rectangle is length multiplied by its breadth. So the area according to the dimension comes out to be 5 into 3 which is 15 square units. Isn't it amazing to know that the area formed by the dimensions and area found by the number of squares enclosed is the same? Interesting property to be verified. You can also verify the same property by making a square on it. Now let us make a right triangle using three pins and a rubber band on this geo board. Stretch the rubber band over the doubles. Observe carefully that we get a right angled triangle. Let us count the number of full squares enclosed within the shape. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 full squares. Now let us count the more than half squares enclosed within the shape. They are 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4 such squares. Now let us count the less than half squares enclosed within the shape. They are 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4 such squares. Now let us see what is the height of the triangle. The height is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The height is 6 units. And the base is 1, 2, 3, 4. The base of the triangle is 4 units. And you all know that the area of a triangle is given by half base into height which comes out to be 12 square units. Wasn't it amazing to know that the area formed by the squares is same as the area formed by the dimensions. You can verify this property by making many right angle triangles of your choice using this geo board. I hope with this activity you will be able to find the approximate areas of various regular and irregular figures. There is another way to find the area of some geometrical shapes. For this, we again take the help of the mathematics kit and take out these blue cutouts of quadrilaterals and triangles. Let us first find the area of a parallelogram using the concept of area of a rectangle. For this, join these two cutouts to form a parallelogram. Observe that we now get a parallelogram. Can you now make a rectangle out of it? For this, remove this small triangle and attach it to the other end. You see that we have obtained a rectangle. Thus, we infer that the area of a parallelogram is same as the area of a rectangle which is base into height. You all know another property of a parallelogram that a diagonal of a parallelogram divides it into two congruent triangles. So let us take these two congruent triangles and join them to form a parallelogram. You see that we get a parallelogram. The area of one triangle will be half the area of the whole parallelogram. Thus, area of triangle will be half into base into height. Let us now perform another activity to find the area of a triangle. For this, 
we use these three triangular pieces to form a parallelogram. Observe that a parallelogram is formed. Now place the two small triangles over the third triangle. What do we observe? We observe that the area of the two triangles is same as the area of the third triangle. Thus, the area of the parallelogram is twice the area of the third triangle and the area of the triangle becomes half area of the parallelogram which is half into base into height. Let us now try to find the area of a trapezium. Suppose we are given this trapezium where these are the parallel sides and this is the distance between the parallel sides. To find the area of this trapezium, we take another trapezium of the same dimensions and arrange it on the other side of the trapezium. What do we get? We get a parallelogram. So, we can infer that the area of this parallelogram will be equal to area of the two trapeziums. Thus, the area of the parallelogram is equal to twice the area of the two congruent trapeziums, which make the area of one trapezium to be half area of parallelogram, which becomes half into base into height. But the base of the parallelogram is equal to the sum of both the parallel sides of the trapezium and the height of the parallelogram is the distance between the two parallel sides. So, the area of the trapezium is equal to half the sum of the two parallel sides into the distance between them. Using this blue cutouts, we have learned to find the area of parallelogram, triangle and trapezium. Now, we can use the other set of blue circular cutouts to find the area of a circle of any given radius. For this, take a circular sheet that is cut out into four equal parts. These equal parts can also be called sectors of the circle and arrange them in this manner. Now, take another circular sheet that is cut out into six equal sectors. Now, arrange the equal sectors of the circle like this. Now, repeat the same procedure for arranging the circular cutouts into 8, 12 and 16 sectors. Observe all the arrangements kept on the table carefully. What do we notice? We notice that as the number of sectors of the circle increases, the shape formed by joining the sector of the circle nearly becomes a rectangle. Thus, we can say that the area of the circle is same as the area of the rectangle formed by joining its sectors. But what is the area of a rectangle? It is length multiplied by its breadth. The length of the rectangle formed by arranging the sectors of the circle will be equal to half of its circumference and the breadth will be equal to the radius of the circle. So, if we assume the circle to be of radius r, then the length of the rectangle formed by arranging the sector of the circle will be half into 2 pi r which is pi r and the breadth will be equal to r. What is the formula for finding the area of a rectangle? It is length multiplied by its breadth. So, the area becomes pi r into r that is pi r square. And since we know that the area of the circle is same as the area of the rectangle formed by joining its sectors, so the area of the circle is also pi r square. Wasn't this an interesting way to find the area of a circle? This is all for today's episode, but wait for me in the next episode 
to see me performing some more activities from this mathematics kit. See you next time.